Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us honor the Blessed Virgin Mary today, and let us ask her to intercede for us to her Son Jesus, our Savior. Let us now be sorry for our sins. Let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant we pray that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. 
Thus says the Lord, Let the nations bestir themselves and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit in judgment upon all the neighboring nations. Apply the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come and tread, for the winepress is full. The vats overflow, for great is their malice. Crowd upon crowd, in the valley of decision, for near is the day of the Lord, in the valley of decision. Sun and moon are darkened, and the stars withhold their brightness. The Lord roars from Zion, and from Jerusalem raises his voice. The heavens and the earth quake, but the Lord is a refuge to his people, a stronghold to the children of Israel. Then shall you know that I, the Lord, am your God, dwelling on Zion, my holy mountain. Jerusalem shall be holy, and strangers shall pass through her no more. And then, on that day, the mountains shall drip new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and the channels of Judah shall flow with water. A fountain shall issue from the house of the Lord to, the wa to water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a waste, and Edom a desert waste, because of violence done to the people of Judah, because they shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall abide forever, and Jerusalem for all generations. I will avenge their blood, and not leave it unpunished. The Lord dwells in Zion. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and the peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. joy to my heart, your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, 
Our short gospel today talks about blessedness. There was a woman among the crowd who was following Jesus who probably have listened well to the teachings of Jesus and have witnessed the marvelous works that Jesus has been doing, the miracles, the driving out of demons. And so seeing all this, this woman said, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. It is as if this woman is saying, how fortunate your mother is for having a son like you. Hindi po ba ganyan din ang sinasabi natin sa isang taong nag-e-excel, sa isang taong magaling. Sinasabi natin, ang swerte naman ng nanay mo, nagkaroon siya ng anak na katulad mo. But Jesus was quick to add, Yes, my mother is blessed for having a child like me. But more than that, blessedness is about hearing the word of God and observing it. My dear brothers and sisters, here, Jesus deepens our understanding of what it is to be blessed. To be blessed is to be able to hear the Word of God and observe it, live it out. My dear brothers and sisters, we may not be related to Jesus by blood, like Mary, but we could still be blessed if we hear the Word of God and observe it. Do we consider being able to hear the Word of God a blessing? Kapag naririnig ba natin ang salita ng Diyos, nagpapasalamat tayo dahil itinuturing nating biyaya ang marinig ang salita ng Diyos. Or it is just part of the ritual of the Mass that we listen to God's Word. Do we consider that a blessing? After hearing the Word of God, do we even tell God, Lord, thank you for speaking to me today? You know, it's always a blessing to hear someone speak to us. Especially important people we want to converse with. Natutuwa tayo kapag isang kilalang tao ang kumausap sa atin. Sasabihin natin, uy, kinausap niya ako. Minsan nga, simpleng message lang sa text o sa chat. Uy, nag-text siya sa akin. Uy, nag-chat siya sa akin. Pinansin niya ako. Kinausap niya ako. Do we have that same feeling? Every time we hear God's Word, we are happy, we are joyful because God talks to us. Kapag may isang taong hindi tayo kinausap, Nag-aalala tayo, bakit kaya niya ako hindi kinausap? Bakit kaya siya tahimik? And so, my dear brothers and sisters, every time we hear the Word of God, God is telling us, you know, I'm interested in talking to you. And this is true blessedness. But, Hearing is just one level of being blessed with the Word of God. We all know that part of Christian life is to listen to God's Word. 
But God's word is not just for listening, it is for doing. And so what we listen to, we must live out. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Listening is not enough. Listening should be translated to life. And many times, that is where we fail. We may be good in listening, but translating it to life is a totally different story. Ang sarap naman talagang makinig sa salita ng Diyos. Natatouch tayo, napapaiyak pa tayo, sinasabi natin parang ako ang kinakausap ng salita ng Diyos. Pero paano kaya yung salita ng Diyos ang siyang nagbabago at gumagabay sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay? Could we even say, that the Word of God directs and guides my life. For if that happens, that is true blessedness. More than hearing, we are able to do God's Word. Blessed are those who hear the Word of God and observe it. My dear brothers and sisters, not every time that we listen to the Word of God, we observe it. And for that, we have to ask God's forgiveness for failing to translate our listening to His Word to our life. May mga bagay na napapakinggan tayo na hindi naman dapat nating gawin. Hindi lahat ng napapakinggan dapat paniwalaan at gawin. We must discern God's Word. And if we are able to detect God's Word speaking to us, then let us do it. Let us live it out. Our first reading today from the book of the prophet Joel reminds us of the day when the Lord will come again. And when the Lord comes, there will be judgment. And judgment is based on listening to the Word of God and being able to observe it. My dear brothers and sisters, on this Saturday, we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary we call her blessed, not just because from her womb came Jesus, not just because at her breasts Jesus fed. She is more blessed because she heard the word of God and observed it. When the angel Gabriel announced to her, that she will be the mother of God. Mary heard the word, and Mary followed it by saying, let it be done to me. That is why until now, we call her blessed. May Mary pray for us that like her, we too may be truly blessed. Please all stand. Inspired by Mary's faith and courage, we bring our needs before God the Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord, be it done to us. Lord, be it done to us. That under the patronage of Mary, the leaders of the church may bring God's people 
closer to Christ by their preaching and example, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, be it done to us, that like Mary, we may welcome the Word of God into our hearts and respond to it with generosity. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord be it done to us, that following the example of Mary, mothers may make their homes dwelling places of love and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord be it, be it done, done to us, that God may look with compassion on the sick with the help of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord be it done to us, that the dead may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of Mary and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord be, be it done, it done to, to us. us. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, you chose Mary to be the mother of your Son. Help us through her intercession that we may treasure the memory of your Son's death and resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the ends of the earth, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Laging tapat at laging tugon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon.